Hello YouTube Stackers, this is ST with Silver Stacking 101, where we always believe in staying stacked and packed. Stacked with silver, gold, food, ammo, and packed with the means necessary to defend our stack. I want to apologize. It's been a few weeks since I have published a video. I have had some professional opportunities that I needed to take advantage of. It's put me a little bit behind. Guys, the ones that have reached out and asked was I okay, I sincerely appreciate your concern. I'm back. I'm going to get called up. I'm going to get the book out. Naturally, I'm behind on the book due to the professional obligations. Work does have to come first. In this video, I want to talk about technical analysis and the price for silver. The genesis of this topic comes from an article that I read on Silver Doctors, which predicted the price of silver to fall to $11.92 per ounce. The prediction was based on technical analysis. Now let's stop for a second. $11.92 per ounce. It would be time to cash in the 401k, sell the dog, hot the kids, and pimp the wife out. Now, granted, pimping's not an easy endeavor. However, at $11.92 per ounce, it becomes absolutely necessary. Please consult a tax advisor prior to making Victoria's Secret purchases for their deductibility if this becomes the case. But silver's not going to $11.92 per ounce. Here's why. The whole article was based on technical analysis. Technical analysis looks at recent transactions. It looks at recent volumes at certain price points and tries to infer where the price is heading from there. Technical analysis is only good very, very short term, minutes, hours, day, a day at most. Technical analysis should never be used for anything longer than that time period. Technical analysis is frequently used by people attempting to commit financial hairy carry by playing options. Don't play options. Go to Vegas. You got better odds. Technical analysis completely ignores the supply side and only looks at the, the demand side. And as we know, most of the demand for the commodity of silver is industrial demand. Technical analysis ignores this and only looks at very short-term paper transactions. One cannot infer a trend from this from a technical analysis situation three months down the road. They're kidding themselves if they are. Fundamental analysis, on the other hand, looks at supply and demand. Now, we know that the price of any asset is determined by supply and demand. Technical analysis is not good for long term because it ignores potential news stories. We don't know what the future is going to hold, but we can estimate demand. And we can safely estimate supply. When we do that, we don't see a big change on either from where we are right now. Actually, we're underpriced for where we should be. I think we will see the price of silver start to correct to more March levels by the end of the year. Maybe slightly higher than what we saw in March. Going and using technical analysis for a commodity, particularly when we're going over 24 hours in our price prediction, is useless. So my advice to anybody is if someone is quoting a prediction based solely on technical analysis, completely discount what they're saying. Let me know what you think. Agree or disagree? Tell me what you think and why you think it. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And remember, pimping ain't easy, but it's necessary at times. Stay stacked and packed.